Hey guys, it's Ariana, and just starting off by saying if you hear like, um, like that buzzing noise, it's because it's extremely hot in my room. My cheeks are like really flushed. That's not from like putting blush on. It's just I didn't put it on today because it's so hot in my room. Um, and they're just naturally like that. Cause like the whole country is like in a heat wave, and so I have a fan going in my room, so like, you can kind of see, it's like blowing my hair. Okay, anyway, I just want to, sh I'm doing this like blue and gold look today, and it's kind of like summery and like smoky, but it's not like too smoky, so, oh, wrong way, I always do that. Okay. So it is just gold on the lid with a shimmery turquoise in the crease and on the lower lash line and then that's blended out and then some navy blue eyeliner with thick clumpy mascara so I'm gonna start on this eye I need to go lower on my chair and okay so First, I'm going to prime my lids, and this step is kind of unnecessary if you see the next thing we're using. But I just kind of wanted, because normally in the mornings, in like in the summer, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just do what I feel like. I just look through my makeup and just pick a look. So I don't know if I'll need a primer or not. So I just apply it. So I applied it on that eye. I might as well do it on this eye. Okay, next I'm taking my MAC Paint Pot in Indian Wood, and this is just a beautiful gold color. Okay, sorry. And I'm going to apply this onto my lid. And sometimes the colors aren't as vibrant in the camera. Like, when I look in the mirror, this, you can definitely see the blue. But when I showed you guys like this eye and the camera, you can't really see the blue. So, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, the next thing I'm taking is my L'Oreal Hip High Intensity Pigment in Striving, which is just this blue, and a contour brush. Okay. Sorry, I'm like flipping my mirror so I can like see in here. Okay. And I'm mostly focusing that right here. And I'm kind of like neck closing that corner. So instead of gold ending right there, it's going to be blue. And I bring it down. Okay. Okay, well next, I'm taking a tiny brush, like a small precision brush, and I'm connecting that with the blue over here, and putting it on my lower lash line. I just spilled that all over myself. <sighs> okay, anyway, I'm going to blend that all together. Even lower. I'm going to blend that connection so it looks smooth. Okay, next, of course, I'm taking my jumbo. Eyeshadow pencil and milk. I'm putting this on my inner corner. And as a brow bone highlight. Okay. Okay, anyway. Lastly, I'm taking my 
Well, this isn't last because I still have to do mascara. But okay, this is my e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen in Midnight. You see what I'm doing? I hope so. Yeah, just line your upper lash line and then make it thicker as it goes out. Okay. So then going to apply mascara, curl your lashes, and then I'm taking my Falsies mascara from Maybelline. And okay, I have to scrape off the sides with this, because it is really, it gets way too much on the wand. Like look how much I had to scrape off. Okay, well anyway, this is just really good at giving you super clumpy lashes. And then... I don't really want my lower lashes, okay, I just snapped that, to be that clumpy. Okay, yeah, I just want my upper lashes to be clumpy, so I'll just leave it at that. Okay. So, then I'm taking my EOS lip balm. And then I really, really like this. And this does dry out your lips, so definitely do the lip balm. This is my e.l.f. lip stain in Heartbreaker. And this is such a pretty color. Now, on the website, it looks more pink, but I still really like the color, so. I don't know what's wrong with all these colors on the website. They never look the same. So just apply it like you normally would. And this is like a my lips but better color for me. Um, it matches my friend's lip color. Like it doesn't look like she has anything on. But for me, especially after the gloss, it just gives you such a natural, pretty lip color. Okay, it's starting to dry. Yeah, you have to let it dry. And then you put on the gloss and it stays on for like ever. But you'll see after I put on the gloss that it's so pretty. The fan is helping with this too, like drying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's time for gloss. Once it's, you can, well, all my fingers are really dirty, but are all covered in like makeup from that pigment spill it's still all over my legs I have to clean up okay anyway yeah if, if you wipe your lips and they're completely comes off clean then you can put your gloss on and it definitely just gives you such a pretty color. I just really like this. So if you're looking for like a my lips a better color, that's definitely the way to go. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna turn off the camera. So all my fingers are dirty. So I'll just like use my knuckle or something. Okay, anyway. That was this look. Sorry it was kinda messy with all the spilling and stuff. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great day.